everyone and uh, welcome back to part two as promised. Uh, on part one when you left me we just finished off uh, recording the movements uh, and it popped up with the steps uh, would I like to view and watch a program repeated. So what you do, it's got loads of little bits here where you can add insert program step up to current step, uh, insert time shift program steps, uh, remove selected program step you can move steps up and down uh, test program and this is a pin marker just to mark the steps you want to test replace local in program don't know what that one is, oh that's for doing some I uh, uh, forgot now but I've used it before uh, right so what we want to do it's marked all the high speed train movements so I really can see this at home uh, so I click this pin mark here just to mark every movement. You can see it's coming with a green mark at the side. And if I click the uh, test program, it'll test all the markers I've, I've set. So there we go, I'll we'll press it. You can see it's same there, running. One second, two second. And now you can see the lights have come on on the uh, high speed train. So uh, obviously it's going to take about five minutes before it gets back up to where it was. It should follow the same steps I've just played on the uh, on part one. Which I'll come to this this platform and stop for probably I forgot about 10 seconds it when we set it back off. Uh, through this test pro program you'll see uh, obviously this point more to click one way than back as we did in step in uh, program one. A few people have been asking obviously uh, about other bits and bats I have really got into yet with the Under Rail Master. I'm still learning myself really. But it's all all easy. It's just having the time to do it. And money, of course, money always helps in these uh, tough times. You know what the domestic managers are like. I'm sure we've all got them. Keep track of the uh, money. It's got to be spent on shoes or clothes or household goods, really. Or it upsets the domestic manager. You can see we're still at uh, step step three. It's still forward. Hopefully, uh, a later date I'll try and do uh, more movements. Say uh, three or four locos all moving at once and different points changing, so I can. I can show you step by step and if people just purchase a rain blaster they can, can watch them learn and hopefully follow suit. It just takes a long time obviously if I'm uh, filming. filming it at a controlled speed I've got it set at the moment. I know the high speed train should really travel a bit faster I need to set the program so it uh, goes faster on, on its normal speed and the shunt, you can all at the times but I've, what I've been doing is uh, I'm getting them all to run pretty much the same sort of speed so I can have them all running at the same time uh, and you usually keep about a minute plus apart from each other so it's rare that any problem should occur but you can tell if uh, one loco is going faster than another it will eventually catch it up and you've got to try and watch out for that. We've had a few incidents where uh, we've had some back enders where it's crashed into the back. Well, that's when you're not watching and just getting carried away with other things. But I don't think I'm going to go to expense of having, having uh, sensors and stuff like that to, uh, so the computer knows exactly where each loco is. It's uh, more expense really. I'm pretty much happy with uh, we are it's running at the moment with the timers and so on. 
uh, once once the scenery work's done and a lot of the ballast and all the detailing, the background work. Uh, I got a lot of ideas from uh, Bud Marine 77 also, uh, some of the websites he's mentioned. I've had a look at those and you can download some really good stuff on out. I'm very impressed with that, cheers mate. Uh, I will be trying to print some off and get stuff really on the on the cheap, just get the photo paper and print it off if it looks well. I'll get some like backing card or or thin board just to stick it on. You can see the uh, high speed trains come to a stop like it uh, it did before. Not very much space to spare there but obviously if uh, other trains were running it still still work it'd still go through. And we should set back off in a second. So we only stopped it for about 10-15 seconds I think. Then uh, I think the point movement was after that so we'll be able to see the points move one way than the other. You can see we get a bit close to the locker before it sets off. The amount of detail. There it goes. I'm really impressed. I may mean, get another one at some point. GNER or, or countless other, other ones out there. But I don't think I'll be getting the Pendolino again. I had one when I first made the uh, layout, the Helix and so on. And uh, it's far too light, it can't manage to climb the helix without stopping and wheel spinning. Same with the uh, Backman Voyager, that had the same problems. Uh, but this high speed train I have at the moment seems to work great. It's very heavy, it sticks. I'll find out more obviously when I increase to six coaches uh, how well it pulls the weight, especially with the helix and the incline. But at the moment it doesn't have any problem. I think this point should be clicking again soon. Let me go and check the computer, see what. Yeah, that's due in a second. I forgot which point it was, I think it was that point, yeah, so if you get in, you might see it move. Yeah. And it should clip back again. Eventually. There you go. So that's the movements I made on uh, the clip one. Just for the purpose of showing you really, but obviously all the points will be controlled as well by computer. I'm going to make them all live. I think when I uh, run the layout, I will be increasing uh, each loco to its, its scale speed, kind of. So I'll have to leave a fair old gap when I set this off from the station for it to go at some good speed. And obviously keep stopping at a station whereas the freight trains can keep trundling around at a steady speed. One uh, one more thing I'm wanting to do, obviously because I'm limited, uh, is uh, what I'm going to do to try and explain. These lines that go up here, this is the main line really. Uh, this is classed as the up, up line and down line. But once it gets past this point, that's it. Uh, this uh, they're stuck to the same track. Uh, what I was hoping to do was either put another point in here, or or at the back, or or incline. I don't know at the moment. So obviously, if you've got a, a freight train going down slowly on the up line, what I'm wanting to do will get a point come across so obviously if a nice speed train was on its way it could get onto, onto the down line as long as it were free to come up and obviously overtake the freight train and I'd have to put another set of points in either on top here somewhere or at the back 
so obviously once it's crossed it can get back onto its right track so there's no issues with the trains following or coming the other way that's some else in the pipeline just to make it run better and and faster you can see the uh, the high speed train is just stopping now the program is nearly complete as you can see on this one it's, it's probably gone another four or five inch to where I stopped it on my first demo further so these little bits like that that don't annoy me because if you wanted to stop it exactly in one spot I don't think you can guarantee stopping it in that exact spot uh, near enough obviously in four or five inches it's it's generally okay as long as it stops in the area roughly where you wanted it to stop but like like uh, I said previous clip you can do many movements that's just uh, another simple movement to show you a, a loop so I could set that as a loop now uh, so it constantly keeps doing that and stopping at the station uh, for X amount of minutes and set back off and you could do that in a cycle and it just follow that same route constantly all day while uh, you could program other, other, tra other trains to do other movements at the side of it so say this, this high speed train pulled into the station you could have the DMU leaving uh, or whatever really an high speed train setting back up for a few more minutes and you could have it coming to then stopping at this this jump at uh, this station sorry this line or you could stop on any one of these lines but at the moment it's a bit difficult with the computer because because these points have not been uh, made alive just yet but once they are all, all alive it should run a lot better so uh, thanks for watching again and uh, hope uh, it helped show how easy it is once again keep in, uh, in tune and uh, I'll try, shall try and do a few more clips over this week next week uh, with the winter months setting in I should get more work done